Terraria is a 2D action-adventure sandbox video game developed by Relogic and released in 2011. Available on PC and console, Terraria has sold over 20 million copies, making it one of the most popular video games ever. Today, I interviewed John Daniel, aka Sash, who has clocked over 8,000 hours and soon to be ranked number one in the world. Hello again, I'm Paul Goldie for General Gaming. In my last interview with John, we discussed the role of technology in graphic design and tips for those starting out. A graphic designer, a veteran in social media and veteran gamer, John and I have been friends for over eight years. Today we'll be discussing his climb to becoming the number one ranked Terraria player on the planet. Welcome and thank you for your time. So, let me just ask, what's it taken to get to number one? How many hours, days, what's it cost you? Well, um, I've currently invested 8,000 hours into Terraria over two and a half years, which is uh, probably a bit more than is healthy, maybe? A lot of game hours, yeah, yeah. a lot of game hours. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely dedicated to the cause. But practice makes perfect, definitely. Definitely, you know, you look at the top Koreans that play StarCraft, they're doing exactly the same thing. And, and gaming these days is actually, well, it's a career option now. Yeah. It's a career option. So. Definitely. And uh, let's just go back. I mean, how did you get involved in Terraria? Well, um, the first time I played Terraria, <laughs> I hated it. I was just like, I got it on my phone, right? I was at the train station and um, I was just bored. I had like a half an hour or something to wait. And I saw it there, you know, because I play Minecraft. And I do a lot of that sort of thing. But I was never really big into it. I was always a, uh, a one versus one sort of character, like with the Street Fighter and StarCraft and stuff like that. Yes. So, um, you know, this Terraria looked pretty good. And uh, I paid, I think, seven or eight dollars for it. Yes. And um, I started playing it on my phone and I was like, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty cheap compared to other games. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, But it was just the... The controls, I didn't really like the controls because your thumb was in the way of what you were trying to see, you know, and it did take a little bit of, uh, I suppose, finesse to, uh, you know, mine a block or whatnot, and you needed to know how the controls worked. Um, so I picked it up for 10 minutes and then I pretty much deleted it. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, yes, yeah, about a year later, uh, my brother, Mitch, he, uh, he wanted, obviously wanted to spend a bit more time with me and uh, I was big into Street Fighter back then and um, he was like, come play this game with me and I was like, oh yeah, what sort of game is it? and he's like, oh, it's Terraria I'm like, no way, like, that's just crap, I played it already Been there, done that and he was like, no, 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 trust me, it's, it's pretty good and I was like, alright, I'll do it just like, you know, to spend time with him sort of thing and um, yeah, then we started playing and I did enjoy myself. It was a lot different on PC, you know, having a mouse with a pointer. Yes. Oh, yes. big difference. <laughs> Instead of Compared having, to a controller, yeah, yes, yeah. It was just a whole new level. And um, so I started to enjoy it a little bit and then I think uh, a slime rain happened where it started raining slime and I was like, what the hell? And then this star just came out of nowhere and was like, Zoom, and like crushed this bunny and did like a thousand damage to it and from that point on I was hooked. Now there's different game modes in Terraria, which game mode do you play? There are, there's a, a if you're talking about the actual cores. The different cores, yes. Um, there's soft core, medium core and hard core. Now explain hard core for us. Oh, hardcore is uh, pretty much self-explanatory. <laughs> it's hardcore. Um, you have one life and good luck. <laughs> so what, wait a minute. Unlike other games where if you die, you can, you've got multiple lives. In this, once you die, that's it. That's it. One life. So all over. the progress you may have you know, gained, you've lost. That's Gone. it. You I become can... a ghost. So how does that, uh, uh, as a player, you know, obviously only the toughest players want to play that because it's it's challenging. Uh, well, it's been very hard for me um, because the entire community has disregarded it. It's actually that difficult that no one really played it at all. Like, in the, 
if you go into a multiplayer game, the cores have different coloured text. Yes. So you've got soft core, which is white, and then you've got medium core, which is blue, and then you've got pink, which is hardcore. And still to this day, after two and a half years of playing, people ask me how I got my text changed to that colour. So they don't even realise that... They think you're hacking. Yeah. They well, think you're hacking. Not only that, like, um, they think I'm hacking because of a lot of different reasons, but that that's definitely sceptical. They, they, they're like, hmm, what... That's because they haven't put in the hours and they're not willing to put in the work. Like, well, they've yeah. just never clicked hardcore. Yeah. So, you know, it's... And people are pretty much scared of what they don't know. That's not fair. Now, you've played so much, you've actually discovered a bug in the ReLogic game. Yes. Now, can we talk about this? Because, I mean, uh -huh. there's, there's 20 million copies sold, and I believe you're the first one to have to pick this up. Yes. Um, developers didn't know about it. None of the top Terrarians had ever found it. But the reason why that is, is because not even they play hardcore. So, to get this glitch to happen, right, you pretty much have to complete the first half of the game, so you've got to go all the way down to hell, kill the wall of flesh, and then get into hard mode, which is like the second half of the game. And then about halfway through the second half of the game, down, down deep, there's an underground hallowed area, and there are chaos elementals. Now, a Chaos Elemental has a 0.2% chance of dropping a Rod of Discord. And so, for you to get that Rod, I mean, sometimes it takes me 12 to 15 hours worth of farming just to get it, which is just a That's nightmare. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Oh, it's, it's a nightmare. And um, so, obviously, like, well, how the glitch works is, if you use the Rod of Discord, which is a teleport rod, by the way, um, if you use it, wherever, you've, wherever your pointer is, you will warp to that position. So, when I did first pick up this rod, I was like, what's this, you know, sort of thing? And I was like, Zoo, and I warped, and I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. And I killed myself with it, because what it does is that um, if, you, if you warp too fast, He's got a five second cooldown, so you, the first warp's free, and then the second one, it'll take a sixth of your life. Wow. So you've got six warps after that before your health goes choo, 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 choo. And you're, that's it, and RIP. Yeah, and I didn't realise, right? So well, you just I've warped. Just, I've just been like, this thing's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Bang! And I just like disintegrated myself, and I was just like, oh, are you kidding me? Like, I was just like, this. I hate myself, I hate this game, I, I was really upset because, you know, at that point I'd been like alive for 40 hours or something, you know, and just to woof, 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 dead, I'm like, uh, it was hard, and, but then I got over it, and I started a new character, and the new character started with the rod. Whoa. Yeah, and see... Because no one plays hardcore and has ever got ooh, has ever gotten to that phase of the uh, game before, I suppose. And uh, I don't know. It was a series of uh, fortunate events for me because I never read the wiki. Yes. Right? I never um, like read the guides, cheated or anything. Walkthroughs. Yeah, I just wanted to enjoy the experience as the game and not have the outside influence of everyone or know any of the recipes or anything. I just wanted to play it and enjoy it. And it was because of that fact that I didn't know about the rod and it was because I was hardcore at that and got that far in the game that I figured this glitch out. And at first I thought that it was an Easter egg. I thought, you know, the developers had put Snuck it in. Snuck it in. Yeah, yeah. And in like, if anyone gets this far with this, like, and actually, because it's counterintuitive to kill yourself with a Rod of Discord at that phase of the game. Even if you do want to start with a Rod of Discord, like, are you really going to just sacrifice 40 hours worth of, like, not dying in, like, really difficult situations just to start with the Rod? Like, it's, you're just not going to do that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I found that out. 
And I was like, wow, what an awesome Easter egg. And it made sense because it's so hard to get. Yes. And since then, you've actually petitioned ReLogic uh, asking them to have it included as an Easter egg. Definitely. Because yes. it's made me like, well, once I found that out, it became the core of everything that I did in a game. It was like when I got into a tight position and I thought I might die, I just suicided the rod so I could start again with it. Right? And so I pretty much have been playing with the rod of Discord, like for, I think I calculated it to be over 4,000 hours worth of warping. Wow. Yeah, and um, that's what makes me so incredibly good. Yeah. Because no. I could just teleport like a beast. I'm just like... <laughs> and hence why they accuse you of hacking. Yes. So, uh, the people out there, you need to chat to ReLogic about um, making an Easter egg. Yeah. Now, um, just quickly, what tips do you give for, for new players starting out in Terraria? Uh, well, there's, it depends on the player. Okay. If you're, uh, if you're going to be playing casual, like play softcore, uh, start from the start, don't... Don't go online and accept items from different people because there's a lot, there's a lot of people out there that will just give you like end game items straight away, and you know that's just ruining the fun, isn't it? Like, I mean, you can take it if you want. There's no, a lot of people consider it cheating, but it's not a cheat because it's like within the legal boundaries of the game yep. sort of thing. So it's you're really just uh, harming yourself by doing that, uh, but. In that case, like, because there are people that just want to do that, and what I usually do is I'll, I'll I'll find them first, and I'll be like, look, I'll give you the items that you want, but first of all, I want to teach you how to use them, because you know there's too many noobs running around like ah, with <laughs> end game weapons, and they don't know what they're doing. Like, so there's those people, you know, softcore, casual, like stick with it, do that, but. If you're serious, like you're start, looking for a real challenge. Yeah, if you're looking for something that it will challenge you, because this game, like in hardcore expert, makes Dark Souls look like kindergarten. It really Facts. does. Yeah. Facts. Fact. Like it took me three thousand eight hundred hours to complete the game. And and to be honest, I mean you're not uh, a noob. You're an experienced gamer of you know so, probably twenty years almost now. Yeah, so yeah, master StarCraft player, top ten Street Fighter. You, like, you know, I've seen you met plenty of people's butts. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now, um, what's been one of the you know I guess biggest joys of of go, getting this far along in Terraria? Um, what's been one of the highlights apart from you know the Easter egg, the bug, and and of course your huge fan base. Uh. uh, uh I don't know. Um, the fact that it's a challenge, it's pushed you? Well, I've never found a game like I still, to this day, get scared if I'm gonna die. Like, I genuinely freak out, you know? And that is a big thing considering I've been playing it for 8,000 hours. Like, people are like, how can you play it for that long? Like, are you, aren't you bored? And I'm just like, no, I'm <laughs> not at all. Cause you know, it's actually that difficult that it's always a challenge like nothing will ever freeze your blood like you know you're flying along <laughs> thinking you're a mad dog you've like got all the sick stuff and then a medusa's like stones you and you just like fall to the ground you're like oh and you just shatter and you're just like oh and after 20 hours of gameplay oh, man, yeah. it destroys you and it's a beautiful thing <laughs> now uh, how can people follow you online you've got youtube Yes, uh, but I do recommend following my new Twitch channel. Oh, you're on Twitch. Okay, yes. so we'll have the details below um, and a banner. I don't just go like that banner there. Banner? Banner, <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, okay, so YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, uh, and, uh, and Google Plus. And Twitter. And Twitter. Um, now, just quickly, let's go back to, uh, to graphic design. Um, in the past 24 months, um, you, you've been doing a number of artworks and, and, and kept up your art. Um, what's changed in, in graphic design? Uh, well, you know, I've spent a lot of time on Terraria. Uh, I've kind of put art on the back burner a little bit for now, uh, hence the <coughs> 8,000 hours. Yeah. Uh, it was a, that was a big decision for me because that could have all been in, like invested into Photoshop, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was a big, it was a big like, do I want to do this sort of thing? And then 
when I did uh, end up killing Wall of Flesh, I think uh, at about five to six hundred hours in, I was like, yeah, let's go the full way. I've gone this far now. I've got to do it. Yep. And um, yeah, because that. I thought that that was the end of the game, <laughs> but then, then I got I found out that it was only like halfway, and I was just like, oh. but yeah. Um, back to art. Uh, there's a brand new program out that I've just seen. Uh, oh, what's it called? Um, so it's a competitor to Adobe. Yes, which is fantastic because now they're not dominating the market. It seems like, and the program itself looks phenomenal I think you've sent me the link and we'll have the link come up below in the uh, description section for all the viewers uh, at home I'll definitely be buying it that's for sure because it is a uh, one time buy unlike Adobe where you have to subscribe every month and you never actually own it and yeah uh, yeah. okay no that sounds great so yeah viewers at home you can check that out in the link below Um, lastly is there anything else you'd like to say to the viewers at home um I would like to give a big shout out to my roommates, uh, Ricky and Eddie, because they're mad dogs. Uh, they're supporting me and all that sort of stuff. They come in here and they just call me a hacker. And they tell me I'm bad. And yeah, they're awesome, I love them. And uh, yeah, big shout out to you as well, Mr. Goldie. And the community, of course, you've got a huge community of followers. Do you want to say hello to them real quick? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, big shout out to Sasha's fans. Thank you very much for making that uh, page it, or group. I mean, it was a, a big surprise when it did happen. I was just like, it was, it was at a time when I was quite low as well. So it really, really did help. Because um, you've got strangers, like people you've never physically met hundreds of people from around the world and they're all supporting you i know it's a big thing man and you know it's just that's what keeps me going it really does is um all these people believe in me yes and it's like well i can't let them down like you know what i mean like i have to just i've got to keep going like, i just have to keep i have to succeed so there's like thank you guys i really appreciate it um and as always, like if you do need help or anything, like just message me. I'll do my absolute best to help you. But if you give me grief, I will roast you. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, once again, I would like to wish you all the best and say thank you again, John. It's been a pleasure. And we'll uh, have to interview you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're awesome.